the Glenwood branch and our brand new maker space. From school projects to celebration signs for your business or just something new to brighten up your walls, the large format printer is a great new resource we have here at the Makerspace. You can use it to create posters or even long banners and the only limitation is a 36 inch height. You can use Poster My Wall, Canva, or other design software to design your project at whatever size you wish. Here I'm using Canva. For today's project, we used Canva. Canva is a free design software that's available online and you can just create an account and manipulate the elements from there. We will need to download this image to the desktop, so going to go ahead and do that now. That's all for that step. At this stage, it is important to proof your work. Check for spelling, grammar, and formatting errors. If you do not edit these now, you may run into errors like this on your finished print. Here are some examples where proofing maybe wasn't quite done right. For example, add your Adri here. If that's what you typed, that's what we'll print. Also, the layout here is a little messed up but whatever is sent to the printer, it doesn't have any sort of editing program. It just will print it exactly as it is. Here's an example of what will happen if you print something that's not very high resolution. On a smaller size, it looks fine um, because that's the size of the image. However, when you're looking to print it on a large format printer, all of a sudden the lines aren't as crisp, you can't see the detail and everything looks a little blurry. We'll talk more about resolution in a minute. So we're done proofing, we've made sure everything looks correct, and uh, I'm going to show you how to check the resolution of your photo here. You're going to open up your photo in Finder, and then right click on it. I'm going to click on the Git info. From there, if you push that little arrow by more info, you can scroll down and find the size. There it is. 1724 by 2000. Yep, that's going to be enough, high enough resolution for a 24 by 36 poster. So now we've proofed, checked our resolution, and we're ready to print. Go to File, Print, and it will pop up this print window. I'm going to show the options to see the rest of the information, and because I'm printing a custom poster, I go down to Manage Custom Sizes. And I'm going to add one by pushing the plus, and I'm going to type in the dimensions. It's going to be 36 inches wide by 24 inches high. 36 inches is going to always be the width of the poster printer, um, and we're going to go in here and make sure all of the margins are the same. I just chose half an inch all the way around so that it's nice and even all the way around. We clicked OK, and now we're going to go to the next start part. Right under this menu, um, the preview menu, you are going to select media and quality. And then we're going to move the slider to best. You can switch it to landscape or portrait, depending on how your image needs to come out of the printer. This one needs to be switched to landscape because it was oriented the other way staff member can assist you at this point when you're ready to print. Notify a staff member before you print to determine the cost of your print job. The cost will be determined by the square footage of your final. No worries if the printer runs out of ink staff member can change it and it will pick up right where it left off.
Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, you can feel free to email us at askhcls at hclibrary.org or ask any staff member here at the Glenwood Ranch.